We're in the Ocala National Forest. Um, we're specifically in a place called Pat's Island. So this is like a four to six square mile area of the forest. And so we're here because Pat's Island historically, right, is the location of several homesteads, one of which is, is fairly well known because it's where Marjorie Keenan Rawlings did like oral history and interviewing work with uh, a number of homesteading families that eventually led, um, really provided the impetus or the, the raw material that she used to write the yearling. And so we're investigating really those homesteads out here. It's so much more today. And you know, doing this is my first experience with historical archaeology in Florida and learning about like Florida's like Florida's early settlers. That's been a very interesting experience for me. We found some uh, old bullet casings over there, which is really cool. And you know, they'd been fired and just sitting there and holding a, you know, 200 year old, uh, it's probably a little younger than that, but you know, 130 year old bullet casing. It's like, wow, how was this fired? What, what were they doing here? You know, this is like the foundation of this person's house. Like what would they, why would they have needed to shoot their weapon right here? You know? Dust. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've had, you know, we're finding all sorts of really incredible 19th and 20th century uh, artifacts, uh, historic bottles, medicine bottles, lots of util utilitarian, um, everyday ceramics, you know, just domestic stuff. We're finding architectural stuff, everything from nails to window pane glass. We're finding a lot of clothing accessories like grommets uh, associated with jeans and stuff. I mean, what I find most enjoyable about being out here, I guess there's a couple things, right? First of all, I mean, we're out in the forest. It's beautiful, um, particularly after this last year. It's really great to be able to come out here with people and just enjoy the natural and cultural resources that Florida has to offer. But um, like watching the students progress, I mean, really they're learning to put into practice all the stuff they've been reading about or listening to lectures about. And so, you know, any educator will tell you, you know, we have to teach them different modalities that can be challenging. Nothing really can replace, I don't know, just the joy of, of walking somebody through that process of discovery, knowing that that process of discovery is occurring because they're putting together the pieces they've been collecting over years of education. And so, I mean, that's why most people who become educators do it, you know, to watch those moments of discovery where students are slotting things together and understanding, oh, this is why we dig this way. This is why we map everything. This is why I have to stop every two hours and take a bunch of notes. And, you know, after a few days of doing that, it all clicks. And that's the coolest thing.